Now, the election of city of Johannesburg mayor has been postponed to the 4th and 5th of December. The Speaker of Council, Vasco da Gama, announced during a sitting that him and his legal advisers were confused by what constituted a majority vote. The parties were expected to elect a new mayor to take over from Herman Mashaba, who resigned last month after the appointment of Helen Zile as the DA's federal chairperson. Our correspondent, Kat Lego Legodi, reports. The battle for the number one citizen seat in the country's economic hub has hit a snag. Councillors gathered in high spirits to elect a new mayor, but that did not happen. Council Speaker Vasco da Gama revealed there's a confusion around whether a majority, which is 50% of votes plus one, gets reduced when there are absent councillors during the voting process. The Gama has announced that he needs to seek further legal consultations that will see the process to elect a new mayor delayed. We do not want to be biased in whatever decision they take on, on the legal advice because they themselves are being confused by uh, both schedule three and uh, the meaning prescribed that we postpone this meeting for the election of the mayor to the floor. The Joburg Council has 270 seats, the ANT has 122 seats, the DA 103, and the EFF is a kingmaker with 30 seats. EFF Deputy President Floyd Chivambu has agreed with the postponement saying the interpretation of law around the election of an executive mayor must be clear. And the speaker is correct that these different interpretations of Schedule 3 of the Municipal Structures Act as to what majority is of council, because our interpretation is that it must be majority of all the elected councillors. So the other interpretations uh, basically wants to say that Whoever has got the highest votes must be elected as mayor. The DA's Gauteng chairperson, Mike Moriarty, says the postponement for a couple of days will see city manager Dr. Ntivoni Swani Lekwareni assume office in an acting position. All of the services that you've received are being provided by an administration that is now led by the city manager. He is in charge and he'll be in charge for the next few days. It's only a few days. ANC national spokesperson Dakota Lekweta says they'll go to court over the postponement accusing the speaker of incompetence. This is just a breach of the law because today council corrected. There's no way that 269 councillors out of 270, it's 40%. What was interpreted here before? It's a pure fabrication. The week-long break in between will afford all political parties an opportunity to go back to the discussion table and come back here with a consensus on how the process should go. But the ANC has already made it clear that they will launch an urgent court process that will interdict what happened here today. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Katleya Kholokhodi, Channels Television News.